Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to continue building our API using Flask uh, RESTful, okay? So in the last pro, we, we went over how to uh, navigate our SQL database and how to write different queries in the terminal. So in this tutorial, we're going to use the, using the uh, learning how to build a simple CRUD API and then using uh, also the what you have learned from the database in order to insert data, to delete data and to update different uh, data parameters. Uh, this is what we're going to cover in this tutorial. So let's get started. So I'm in my project territory as you can see so i just did an ls you can, you can see i have my CRUD api folder and my virtual environment folder so i'm going to go ahead and actually activate my virtual environment so it's just vnv uh for slash pin <coughs> for slash uh, activate uh this actually activate and then once i have that activated i can simply go ahead and i'm going to open up visual studio code and from there i'll begin to write our code and i'm going to write a simple hello world program just to return uh, a simple CRUD API, just a simple sorry, an API just to return uh, a route to simply return a hello world. So you can, uh, we're going to be using Postman in this role. So make sure that you have Postman already installed. So I have Postman already installed. Or feel free to use any uh, other tool you use to make requests when building API. So this is this is instead of our route. So instead of our route, I'm going to go ahead and actually import. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually import our API instance. So I'm just going to say from from uh, api underscore application so from api application import uh, api and i'm also going to import uh let me just yeah let me just import api for now and then i'm also going to go ahead actually from flask uh flask underscore restful i'm going to go ahead and import a uh, resource just like this i'm going to import a uh, resource uh, now that i have those uh, imported i'm going to go ahead and simple create a simple class here so I'm, uh, to, in, in what we do in uh in flask graceful to create a route right we create a class and instead of the class we have different methods and these methods have the name of this http http method such as get post and delete right so we're going to have a class we're going to call this class i'm just going to call it class i'm going to call it to do to do list just like that i'm going to call it to do list simple and in here i'm going to pass in resource just like this resource and in here what i'm simply going to do i'm simply uh, let me just undo that i'm simply going to go ahead and simply uh, create a dev function i'm going to call this uh, a method data. i'm going to call this a get i told you that the http uh, the methods in here will, will correspond to a different http method so your function must be named dev must be named dev okay must mm -hmm. So once you're done, I'm simply going to go ahead and simply return a uh, hello world just like that. Or I can go ahead and return a dictionary. I'm just going to return a simple hello world with a status code of 200, which shows everything was okay. So once we have that, now if you run our code, the API is not going to be created, right? If you make a request, so let me just go back to the terminal. I'm just going to go to the terminal and then I'm going to change directory. Let me just say into my CRUD. And if I do an else, I have my run there. So I'm going to do Python 3 and then let's say run.py. So let me just, before we do that, let me just go back in my, uh, in here. And then I check. So in run.py, I have this code written. So I'm just going from uh, API underscore application import app. Uh, if underscore underscore name underscore equals to underscore underscore main as uh, main. It just uh, up dot run and it's in debug mode. Okay, we did this in the previous tutorial. So let me just go in here and then do Python 3. Uh, Python 3 manage uh, sorry this actually run <coughs> run server and then I'm going to simply run this and this is going to go ahead and actually run our server is going to run on local his at port 8000 so if I go let me just go into my browser and I'm just going to say uh, I'm just going to do it here uh, local uh, just uh, local host at port uh, 5000 I believe so I'm just going to put this to be 5000 and make that request let's see what we get we get a 404 error <coughs> So what's the cause of this error? You see, we get a 404. So what's the cause of this error? So let me just go back to my routes. The reason why is that you haven't registered our resource, right? You have just created the resource, but you haven't registered it. So to register it, you have to do uh, uh, API. Register simply makes sure that uh, our API is aware of this route or of this class, which has these different uh, methods. Uh, 
uh, these different methods so that our, our API uh, instance is aware of it. So we just have to register it. So just to say API, which is our API instance here, which is what we created in here, this uh, API instance, we are just using it uh, in here to add, uh, we have a method add resource and easier we're going to pass in the first parameter is going to be the class. So we call it to-do list and then and I'm going to give it a route to first slash, uh, first slash to-dos, just like that. <coughs> so if a person goes to to-dos first slash and makes a get request, it's going to hit this class and it's going to call this method which is simply going to return a hello world and a status code of 200 okay so let's check if our terminal is uh, let me just clear this make sure our code is running and let me just make this again in the real uh, so i have to go uh, for slash to do and then make that request you can see we get back a simple hello world so even if i zoom in you can see you get back a simple hello world so that's how we can use that uh, to make the request so now let me just show you how you can also make the request in the uh, in the uh, from the from postman okay let me just delete this uh let me just delete this so let me just cancel this uh delete this i was using uh using this to test so let me just delete this so now that i have this deleted i'm going to create a new collection and i'm going to call this uh uh let me just call it uh i can call it anything so i'm just going to call it crud uh, and just crud uh, api uh flask just like that i hope i don't have any collection with that name so grad api flask and i'm going to go into that uh where that thing is and here it is and i'm going to simply gonna add a request here so i'm going to go uh, add a request and this is going to be a get request i'm going to say get uh to do just like this and i'm going to simply add it here so once I, i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to have this opened so once this is open i'm going to have make a i'm going to type in a local host at port 8000 uh 8000 for slash to do actually it's at port 5000 rather my bad so this is port 5000 change this into five and then i have this route so let me just see the, and the method is a get request right so i'm going to make a post uh, uh sorry send this you can see we get back a simple hello world so that's how we can simply return hello let's let's say that you want to return in the dictionary maybe it's more well formatted so you can say message and the message is going to be hello world then let's make sure i close all that also if i go back check my server clear the terminal the server has stopped running so i'm going to start the server again and then i'm going to go back and make that request this is now this is going to get me a dictionary that says hello world uh this is more of json right hello uh, the message is just simple hello world so great <coughs> now let's go ahead and actually get the to do's from the list uh, from our database so but before we get the to do's from our database we want to i want to create something known as a serializer and the serializer is what is simply a serializer is going to do is going to serialize our data before sending it into the front end because we are fetching data from our database we can just take the data the raw data from the database and transfer it over http request to another uh, uh to, to serve uh, to serve a response or to serve a request rather so what you have to do now is fetch this from the database and then serialize it and then make a request and then send it uh, in form of a, a HTTP request. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a file here called serializer, serializer.json, just uh, sorry, dot <laughs> py. So I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call this serializer.py and in here that I'm going to do, I'm going to create a file that is going to help me to serialize the data that I'm going to get from the, uh, from the database and then send it uh, as a uh, JSON. Uh, uh, sorry as a json to the front end or to as a response to the uh, given request so i'm going to say from dot models i'm going to import to do <coughs> so i'm going to have a class here uh, sorry a function called response underscore serial liza and then in here what i'm going to do i'm going to take in a to do and a to do is going to be to do okay of the type uh, of this to do type right here okay this is some type hints in python <laughs> If you're not typing, sir, I, I have a whole tutorial on typing, so uh, feel free to check my channel. If you remember, I'll leave the link in the description in case you guys want to have access to that tutorial. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to now, this, um, the, the to do is going to come as a, as, if, as a list. So I'm going to do, I'm going to look from say for to do in to do's. Okay, this is, let me call this to do's. Okay, for, for to do in to do's, what am I going to do? I'm going to say to do. Uh, underscore dict and this is going to be a dictionary so in here i'm going to have id and which is going to be uh to do dot uh, id and i'm going to have a uh, name the name of that to do which is going to be to do dot name and i'm going to have uh, a description which is going to be uh to do dot uh description just like that and i'm going to have uh, a created 
underscore at and it is going to be uh, to do dot created underscore at and then <coughs> excuse me what i'm going also let me convert this into a string so i'm going to do str and then pass this as a str as a string <coughs> so i'm also going to have another another key here and this is going to be uh this is going to be uh completed uh completed and this is going to be uh to do dot completed just like that so now as i have this it's going to return to me a dictionary i'm going to input that dictionary into my response read, and my response is just a list here right so uh i'm going to say response uh dot append uh dot append and i'm going to pass in to do underscore dict and then at the end of the time i'm simply going to return uh, i'm going to return my simple uh response so i'm going to say response just like this great so once we have this setup uh we can go ahead and now go in here into back into our routes and i'm going to simply remove this uh, uh return statement for now and what you're simply going to do in here going to go back to fetch our data from our database just like we did in the terminal uh, in the last tutorial if you haven't checked that tutorial, please kindly check that tutorial out <coughs> So I'm going to look through and get all the data from there. So I'm going to do to do to do so I'm going to call it to do. So it's gonna be to do dot uh, query dot all. Now we need to import to do right. So I'm going to, going to go in here and I'm going to say from dot models. <coughs> excuse me. Import uh, to do just like that. And once I get all those to dos, I'm going to do a response. I'm going to get response, and it is going to be a response serializer. Now I'm going to import this from the serializer class. So I'm going to say from dot uh, serializer import uh, response serializer. So I'm going to come down here and say response serializer, and I'm going to pass in my to do just like that. So it's going to get all these to dos. So let me just say to dos, okay? This is a to dos here. So don't forget the s. So I'm going to get all my to dos, and I'm going to pass into my serializer, which is going to return to me uh, a list of dictionaries. And once that's done, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and actually return it to the front. So I'm going to say return, uh, return. Uh, I'm going to say response, uh, response, just like that. And I'm going to say I give you a status code of 200. So this is status code of 200. Okay. So now let me just go back and start my server again. So I'm just clear the terminal and run this one more time. Once it's running, I'm going to go in here and then make a make a, a, a response again. And let's see what we get. Well, we get back an error. It says that our object has no attribute created at. So let me check and see uh, what does it mean. Uh, it doesn't have a uh, response created. At. So I think it's probably here. So created at, uh, we are getting an error from there. So let's go and see our model and let's see it's called created at. So it says that our model has no uh, created at. So uh, let me just go into my serializer and check if I made any error. <coughs> So yeah, I got I actually made an error here. I just have to say this is great art instead of created art. So my bad for that error. So I'm just going to solve it. I'm just going to put art here and I'm going to go back to the terminal and then uh, run the code again. It took me a while to figure out that error. So I had to pause the video a bit. So I'm going to go and run uh, run.py. And now that we run that, I'm going to go back in Postman and make that request. And hopefully uh, I don't have an error. So you can see I get back those to do's. So I get back the first to do and the second to do. So great. So that's how we can uh, get back the to dos from our, our back end uh, database, our SQLite database. So let's go and go into routes. <coughs> and in here, what you're going to do now, now that you're able to get data back from our database, now let's learn how to add data to our database. So the first thing before we begin to do this is first very simple. To add data to our database, you're going to use a post request to send data to the uh, to the uh, API. So we need to have a function here called dev. It's going to be called post and it's going to be taking cells. Okay. <coughs> so now the data is going to be passed into our post request, but how do we process data and how do we obtain that, that, that data? For, the, for us to be able to do that, we need to import something called a uh, request parser, which is going to pass all the requests from our front end. And for that, we need to create a, a parser object. So we create a parser and this is going to be a request parser dot uh this is gonna be dot parser just like that dot uh this is actually a request parser dot uh, request parser just like that so we create that object and we're going to uh, pass in the different things uh, we want to pass we're going to add uh, add argument and the first thing we want to pass is name okay so we want to get name and then you say parser dot add argument and this is going to be name you're also going to have description just like that and then you're going to add uh we're going to say now parser uh, dot add argument and then you're going to say uh, this argument is going to be created underscore at 
and then you're going to have a parser dot add argument and you're going to say this is going to be completed okay just like that so we have all these three uh these three um sorry these arguments that you want to pass we wanted if a user makes a uh, sends a post a new post uh, post data i mean a new data a new to do data you want the name of that the, the name of that to do the description they created at and then the completed uh completed date so once that's done we can just go in here and then obtain the data from the front end so we're going to now say uh data is going to be equals to parser uh parser dot uh pass Acts, and you're going to pass passing you're going to pass all the ag uh, uh, all the arguments that you have specified here the name the description that created that and then the completed once we have that you can do data i'm going to access the created underscore at and the created at is just going to be uh the created that is going to be uh an str str of date time uh, we want to import data so i'm just going to go up here i have to import date time so i'm going to say uh from date time i'm going to import uh date time just like that <coughs> so in here i'm going to say uh date uh date time dot uh let me just say move up uh, let me just say uh, date time dot uh, strp strp time and i'm going to say data and i'm going to get the uh, created underscore created underscore uh at and then from there i'm going to now pass the data the day i want the data to be i want it to be in form of this format which is going to write the format in here i want to say a percentage sign i want the date uh for slash percentage sign uh percentage sign i want the month and then for slash percentage sign i want the year just like this so the day uh the day the month and then the year of that data that's what i want i want it in that format okay so once i have converted that data into a date format now i'm going to now uh, i've gone it into a date format and assign it to created at now that i have that done i'm going to say uh go in here and just can say completed completed uh completed uh completed is just going to be the following so it's going to be a uh, boolean i'm going to convert the thing into the boolean so i'm going to say completed so the reason i'm converting it in boolean is that if i go back to my models we are expecting this to be of type boolean okay so once that we have that done we can just go back and uh, go to let me just go back in here and then we can go to uh, continue writing this code here i can now say that uh the new uh, underscore data and the new data is going to be uh, to do and i'm going to now spread in all of that uh, argument so i'm going to say data so it's going to spread in everything in here so we have just passed the date uh into a date format and then the time into uh a completed into a boolean format and then you're just simply passing it into uh created an insta uh, an, uh, an uh an object of the to do using that specific data so now that we have that i can simply go and save it so i'm going to do this session uh, session dot uh, add and i'm going to add new data and i'm going to now do db dot uh, session dot commit just like the way we did in the terminal and the same thing we're following in here so you can see we have this error right here so we need to import db as well so i'm going to say import db from uh, this uh, so from application uh, api underscore application import uh, db okay so i'm just going to do a commit in there and then i'm going to return uh data and the status is going to be a 201 which shows that it has been created so that's how you can simply return a, a response back to the front end yeah guys so once uh we have this setup one thing i want to do is that this is uh this date object is supposed to be a date object and not str so i'm just going to go ahead and actually delete this str part just gonna delete this part uh sorry uh let me just move them uh cursor here and delete this part so this is gonna be a uh, an str we're going to convert this into sorry you're going to convert this in, uh, into a date time rather than an str format so once that's done uh coming down here again i want to convert this back into uh, uh into a date uh, into uh uh an str when i want to send it to the front end so i'm just going to say that uh i'm just going to get this from the database i'm just going to say date okay date and this is going to be sorry this is going to be date and it's going to be uh let me just copy this from here just copy it uh cut it out and then say this is going to be date and then i'm going to paste it right here 
and then now i'm going to copy this part here so i'm just gonna copy this and move it down here after the commit i want this i want this to be uh, into it uh, turn this back into a date time so i can send to the front end so i'm going to say str and then it's going to be this so i'm just going to assign it back to a date time and then before saying it the front end so this is going to be convert this into a date and then i'm going to uh create i'm going to i'm going to assign the date uh date created that and then save it into a database so i'm going to save it as a, a date time into a database after that i have converted it into an str so i can send the front end so let's check if the database is running uh the, that the api is running it's not so i'm going to start the api again so in here i'm going to make another request and i'm going to call this uh the rec uh, add another request i'm going to call it post uh to do just like that and i'm going to add that post to do and i'm going to open it up change this into a post and then i'm going to go to body i'm going to click on a uh, row and i'm going to uh, select this to be json okay so once i have that selected i'm going to go in here and i'm going to select this to all of this i'm going to copy it and i'm going to go in here and in here i'm going to create simple create a simple json i'm going to simply paste this in here so let me just bring this down here and then uh fix that formatting so once that is fixed i want to change this to be uh third just like that uh, let me just uh, let me change this to be uh third to do uh let me just say third to do just like this and then i think i, I have another two in there and so let me just change this to be fourth because i just tested it a few minutes ago before running this so i'm going to uh, change this to be fourth i don't know if fourth is written like that fourth if it's, you tell me what the spelling of fourth i don't know if it's written like that so once i have this done i'm just going to change this into a date same format so i'm just i'm just going to go back here and show you so i'm putting the day the month and then the year so i'm just going to go in here providing the day which i'm going to say 23rd and then for a slash uh, the reason i'm using for a slash is because here i use for a slash so i'm going to use for a slash and then the month is going to be 12 and then the year is going to be 21 because you don't have to say 2021 just say 21 just like that so once i have this done I go ahead and actually make a post request. So before that, I have to, I have to specify the uh, the URL. So this is going to be port uh, localhost at port five thousand for slash to dos, and then I'm going to make that post request and let's see what we get back. So I'm just going to bring back this, and you can see we get back that for to do. So if I go back in here and actually make a uh, get request, I can get back all the for all the to do. So in here, I actually added another to do before uh, making that change because I had a bit of issues, so I actually made the change before adding that in. So once I have that. And again, I think there are better ways to, to, to deal with this date, uh, how we convert the date and how we convert it back to string. There are better ways to do that. So maybe in the future, I'm going to make more complicated videos of this. I will discuss how to do that. Okay. So once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to create a class here. I'm going to class and I'm going to call it to do. Uh, to do. This list like this, I'm going to pass in uh, self. Uh, sorry, sorry, this is a class to do. So I'm going to inherit from a uh, resource just like that. And I'm going to have a function called def, and this is going to be get. I'm going to pass in self, uh, and I'm going to expect an ID because this is going to use get and uh, a to do based on that ID. So I'm going to say to do, and this is going to be uh, to do dot uh, query dot query dot uh, dot get, and I'm going to convert the ID into a to do, and I'm going to pass in that ID. And we did this in the last row and show how I to get a certain to do using uh, base using its ID in the terminal, right? So it's the same concept here. And I'm going to check if <coughs> I'm going to check if to do if you get that to do, then you're going to say response is going to be a response serializer, a response serializer. Uh, response serializer just like that uh this, sorry, this is going to be response let me get the spelling right so response is going to be response serializer and you're going to pass in our to do in form of an id just like that in form of a list rather right? so we're going to use the square brackets and pass it in like that and then i'm simply going to do a return uh return i'm going to pass in my response uh let me say this thing is blocking my view so it's going to be a uh, response and i'm going to say status of 200 means you got everything else okay else we want to return uh, i'm going to do else we want to say that uh return i'm going to return a dictionary i'm going to pass in a message so msg and i'm going to say that uh not found and then i'm going to return a status code of 404 just like that so let's this will enable us to get as individual to do rather than this returning out to us all the to do's so let's go down here and i'm going to create another uh, another i'm going to add another resource dot api add uh, resource and i'm going to say to do 
uh, just like that and i'm going to say uh, the is your uh, is your is going to be first last to do just like that we're also going to be expecting uh to do so rather and we're also going to be expecting uh, an integer right an integer as the as the id so we're going to say uh, integer of uh, id just like that so this is going to pass uh, allow us to pass in a, 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 a parameter a query parameter of which is going to be called id and it's going to be uh, an integer parameter and this id is what you're expecting in here and if you get the id we are using it to get the data from the database and if you get the data you're returning the user else you're returning a 404 just like that so let me just check if my uh, server is running it's stop running clear the terminal run this again so we get back uh malfunction url rule. so we got the url rule wrong so let me just say uh, where we get it wrong so in here we have uh for slash to do so this is to do and this is to do add resource to do uh to do for slash uh we have the int in there so i think there's no space in here i don't know why if that's the error but let me just remove the space and uh, try this out again so let me run this one more time yeah and the error was the issue there so we don't have that space in there so make sure that you don't have any space in between the integer uh, the colon and the id uh that's something that always bugs me so i don't know why it's designed like that but uh that's how it is so i'm just going to do first slash and specify one here let's see what we get back let's see what we get back and uh, we got back an error uh, so it says that uh let me just read it from the terminal uh, attribute object to do has no query so I, I got the thing wrong so the reason why we're getting back this is because i have my to do okay i made an error here this is a very silly error so i have this to do right here which is my query my, my database screen i also have this to do right here so let me just call this to do id just like that and i'm going to come in here and call this to do id so this is a name because there's uh, some naming errors that i have in there so this is just to do id and this is uh to do id i change the name so because the I used to do ID it was conflicting with this one here because this was already the to do which is our model that's why it's conflicting with that one so I hope that uh, it missed uh, that error is solved and then let me run the code again and go up to my postman and make the error request again and hopefully we get back that to do yeah great so if I uh, change this to be two it should get me the to do with an ID of two yeah if I put three uh, it should get me to do with an ID of three yeah and four this should get me to do with an ID of four let me specify an id of five there's no to do with an id of five so let's see what how it responds we get back a 404 not found so you can see even the uh, status code is 404 and it's here not found so great everything was as expected so now let's create uh, go ahead and actually do make other uh other <coughs> other ways of uh, uh let's write the put request which is just going to help us to uh update our, our database so uh sorry i uh, update our to do so we're going to pass in id you're going to get it to do with an id so i'm just going to go ahead and say that uh i'm just going to say that data and it's going to be passed because to update uh, a given uh a, to update a given to do we need to pass in the data to update it with so i'm going to create that uh, i'm going to pass the data and i'm going to store it in a variable called data and i'm going to do data uh this created that and what i'm simply going to do i'm simply going to go here grab this copy it and simply uh uh sorry i mean i am just going to get the date i'm just going to copy this and simply paste it in uh in here so let me just paste it above here so i'm just going to say uh this is going to be created sorry let's just use strings here created underscore at and this is going to be the date right there so once that we have that i'm also going to go ahead and so do complete so it's going to be very similar to what we did here so i'm going to copy this uh just copy that and then simply paste it in here so this is going to now uh, pass our data as we need so now that we have our data passed and we have the data in a good format so we're going to try try and you're going to say to do is it going to be equals to to do dot get dot this will be dot query uh dot query dot get uh dot create dot gate and i'm going to say uh int and i'm going to pass in that uh id and it's going to get me that to do okay i want to check if to do if you have that to do i'm going to say to do uh dot name it's going to be uh we can now you're going to update the data so you're going to update to do dot name which is a to do from the database you're saying its name is going to be the data dot get you're going to get the new name that you have passed in because this data consists a new name so you're going to see you're going to say that the, the to do from the database its new name is the data that we got from the front end 
dot name okay we need to do dot uh description uh description is going to be uh data uh dot uh, sorry this is actually data not date so this is actually date the data data dot get and i'm going to pass in here uh description and then i'm going to say to do dot uh created underscore at is going to be data dot get i'm going to say uh created uh created underscore at and then i'm going to say to do uh dot completed and this is going to be data dot get uh completed just like that so this is going to get us uh we're going to update the data now the data is updated we are going to now we need now to commit this back into our database so we're going to db dot uh, session dot commit just like that and it's going to commit that back to our database and i'm going to get a response uh response is going to be a response uh, serializer sorry this is going to be a response serializer uh, response serializer uh, and then we're going to pass in our to do so we're going to say simply say we're going to pass in a list because it's single to do we're going to pass in because our serializer expecting uh, is 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 it is uh it's expecting a list so we have to pass in a list so it can iterate through that list and then uh simply uh simply uh yeah that's uh, that's why you have to simply pass in a list that's basically it and then you're simply going to return a uh, response uh, response and you're going to pass in the status of uh, 200 it means everything went okay so yeah so now you can also do uh, accept exception you're going to do an exception here so let's uh, first deal with the else so I'm going to say if and then you're going to have an else and then you're going to simply say return and then you're going to return a simple message uh, says that uh, not found and then it's going to be a uh, 404 status okay uh status codes and then i'm going to now uh indent that properly and i'm going to simply return uh maybe something went wrong and there's an exception so i'm going to simply return uh msg we're going to see uh this simply say not found okay and then you're going to now return a uh, status of uh, 404 just like that uh yeah or we can uh, so instead of returning this this does not mean that it's not found so let's uh, actually return a message i have uh, you can say invalid uh invalid data just like this invalid data uh make sure uh name of to do is unique because one of the things that may be wrong is that your name is not unique because uh, in designing our model we say that uh, the name of that to do must be unique so if the the name is not unique you might get an error and something like that okay just something random to tell the user know that something went wrong so this will enable the user to be able to update the information so let's go ahead and try to up the update the given it to do so i'm going to run myself again and then that's running so i'm going to go into postman i'm going to create a new re a new uh, request so i'm going to add a request and this is going to be a uh, update to do just like that and i'm going to open this update to do and in here i'm going to make this to be a put request and it's going to go to local host at port 5000 so 5000 first last to do's first uh yeah yeah that's basically it and i'm going to go to body and i'm going to go to raw and i'm going to click json okay so i'm going to go and, and try to update any of these to do so let me just delete this and then get back all the to do so i'm going to get back all the to do's so let's try to update the fourth to do so i'm going to copy this i'm going to, go to pass in the id so i'm going to copy everything other than the id i'm going to reach here paste it. So once they have that properly formatted, so I'm just going to say uh, for to do title updated, just like that. And then the date, I'm also going to say here, uh, I can say updated, just a description, updated, just like that. Uh, and then here, I'm just going to now change the format here. I'm going to start with a day, which is 23rd of uh, slash, and then 21, just like this. And then you can say completed is gonna be uh, false, just like that. So I'm going to make a, uh, make a, now I have to specify the ID of the post that uh, the to-do I want to edit. And I want to edit the fourth to-do, so I specify the ID over there and then simply make that put request. And let's see what we get back. So if I draw back this, we can see that to-do has been updated. You can see the updated, updated, and the date also has been set. So now that we have that done, I'm just going to go in here and simply uh, make a request again. 
make a get request and you can see on the for to do we have updated and updated great so one thing you can notice is that uh by default this is true this is being true yeah uh, when i think when i was updating i kept it to be false but it's still true so how do we fix this so let me just go back and see what's probably uh we have converted this into uh completed is false uh let me just see up here uh if we're providing the right parameters uh completed yeah it's false so i think something that we will come back to just in a second to see what's the cause of that error so let's for now let's just continue and move on to update uh, how to delete a, a, a given to do so i'm just going to uh, move it here and i'm going to now uh, go ahead and actually write the delete function so i'm going to say dev this is going to be delete and then you're going to pass in the self you're going to pass in that id you're going to simply do a to do and this is going to be a to do dot uh, query uh, dot query dot uh, get and i'm going to pass in uh, my id so let me just see go back here uh yeah i'm just going to pass in that id i'm going to pass in that id this is going to get me the id i'm going to check if to do you're going to say db dot uh, session dot uh dot delete just like that delete and you're going to simply pass in that to do just like that and then i'm going to do uh db dot session dot uh commit just like that once that's done i'm going to go and uh, do a return uh, i'm going to pass in a message here so i'm going to say msg and then this is going to be um to do uh deleted just like that and i'm going to pass in uh a 200 this will show everything went fine and i'm going to have an else i'm going to have an else block and i'm going to say return uh, i'm going to return a simple msg saying that uh not found so you can just say uh not uh not found just like that and this is going to be uh 400 so it'll be 404 rather not 400 so a 404 so once that we have that we can also delete a given to do so let me just uh keep two spaces to follow the python uh convention so we're going to get the to do if the to do exists you're going to delete it and then tell the user that the to do has been deleted else you're going to say that we do not have that to do because that to do was not uh, found in the database so now let me just check if my server is running uh it stopped running clear the terminal run the server again and then uh, here i'm simply going to make uh, another add another request uh, go in here and uh, add another request and in here i'm simply going to go ahead and actually say uh, delete uh, delete to do just like that and i'm going to simply going to uh, uh, save this up so i'm going to go in here and then um, change the request to be uh, a delete request and i can simply say uh, local host first uh first slash localhost at port uh, 5000 first slash uh to do first slash i want to delete the to do with an id of three so i'm just going to do that and then going to send that request and let's see what happens if we get back to do deleted so if i go back in here and try to get back all the to do's i should uh, should not get to do with an id of three so you can see two and four so i miss it to do with an id of three so that the delete also work so whenever we try to update the our do's we can see that uh, it remains to be it remains to be false i don't know why it uh, is being false so let's try to figure out why it is being false whenever even if i update it it's uh, sorry it seems to be true even if i uh, you can see it's true here even if in, even if i update it so let me just take this to be uh true i don't let me just say false again try to update this again yeah you can see that it gets updated but there's still the it remains to be false the computer remains to be false what's probably the cause of this let's try to figure it out so the issue is that it's failing somewhere in here okay so it's, maybe it's failing at this point whereby it's failing to convert uh, the data into uh, a proper json maybe it's failing to convert the boolean that's why it's returning to us that error so uh, let me try to do something instead. Let me try to make a put uh, a post request and see what happens. So I'm just going to go uh, into my, uh, sorry, my VS, uh, my postman and go into my post request and then simply uh, just say, um, since I don't have the tag to do, and I'm going to change this into tag just like this and simply make a send request. And let's see what I get back. So I can say that, uh, not a boolean great so it's failing to convert that into a boolean so that's what it's trying to do so what you can do here you can write a whole if if statement and to check that I, there may there are probably other ways to do it but the quick fix is just have to say if data and then you say uh if data completed 
if data completed uh, is uh, equals equals to uh, let's say uh, uh, let's say true json true then i'm going to say simply say that i'm going to copy uh, move this up uh, move this up and then uh, here I'm simply going to say this is going to be uh, it's gonna be true uh, Python true else I'm going to say uh, it's gonna be a false so I'm just gonna copy this copy this code here paste it in here and this is to be uh, false just like that or you can use L if if you want so you can just say you can use L if if you want okay so that's basically it what I wanted to do. So if the if the completed equals goes to true, a JSON true, we're going to say completed is gonna be true, else we're going to say it's false. So we can also move the same logic. Uh you can also copy this code here, uh copy it, and then you can also paste it somewhere here. Yeah, exactly here, and that should also work. So now that we have that in place, let's try this out again. So let's make sure the server is running clear the terminal and run that server again and i'm going to make a, another request here i'm going to simply go ahead and actually send this yeah you can see everything works so now let me go ahead and actually try to uh, uh update the fourth uh, the, sec the second post okay send this and you can see yeah it gets updated so that's the cause of that error and that's uh, an easy way to fix it there are probably better ways to fix it to fix the error but i'm just simply going to leave it uh, at that for today you can even use standard statements to reduce the complexity uh the lines of you have to write if you want you can use standard statement if you want but just to keep the video simple this is how you can create a simple crud api using a uh, flask restful it's a very simple tutorial and there are some bugs on the way but there, there are things for bear with me and watching until this point and this is how you can fix these bugs there are obviously better ways to do this so in the future if you make better videos about this and uh go into deeper concepts can you let me know leave a comment in the comment section below i'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching see you in the next one don't forget to like to share and subscribe to my channel